today's video is on spring themed shelf activities for a toddler about two to two and a half years old. My toddler is 29 months old. I have rearranged since my last toddler shelf work video. You may notice that I have switched shelves. Uh, this is actually a shoe rack from Target. My toddler's shelf work sits next to her toy shelves. Look out for a toy shelf and toy rotation video. It's in queue for next week and I'll talk all about our silks, peg dolls, treehouse, um, all our bins and our toy rotation. I do prepare activities and trays for Luna in other areas of our schoolroom as well. So for example, our unit study shelves, holiday and seasonal shelves, but this is one shelf or one area where every tray or activity is prepared specifically for her interest, sensitive periods, and her skill levels. I'll start off by showing you this alphabet hanging I've hung on the side of her shelf. As you can see, it's hung low to Luna's reach and eye view. This is from Target Bullseye Playground and included with the set are felt pieces that begin with the sound of each letter. Though I have switched out those felt pieces to real life photos. So T is for towels. E is for eggs. So that's one way that we use or engage with this hanging, but mostly we do sing the alphabet since she is in a sensitive period for music. And I also like to use a pointer while we sing. This rug you see tucked here in the corner is her work or rug mat. I encourage her to lay this down on the floor space and uh, work on top of it. Next, this is a Grimm's Large Sunset Rainbow, an open-ended toy that can be used for stacking, building, mazes, color sorting, beds for Barbies, houses for peg dolls, tunnels for cars, you name it. I have displayed two spring-themed board books and I'm going to show you a closer look into those. Discovery Kids Busy Bugs. I love the realistic illustrations and how interactive it is with the peekaboo windows. The passages are short but informative, more so geared for my preschooler and kindergartner, but for my tot, it's more of a pointing and naming bugs for language development and a lot of discussion as we point out colors and other physical features. The second book is Ten Shiny Snails by Ruth Galloway. As you can tell, this book is worn. It's been passed down from my teenager, from my oldest teenager down. So it's easily been in our home for 10 plus years. Each page has uh, numbers one through 10 counting backwards and the same number of corresponding snails. Luna loves counting them together. So by counting the snails as we point to each one, it turns out to be wonderful one-to-one -one correspondence practice. I'm sure you're familiar with nesting cups. These are from Michael's craft store and I've just painted them with watercolor. Nesting cups support her sensitive period for open and closing, order and small objects. It's also a great material for color matching as she pieces together the top and bottom halves. And of course, a pre-math skill of visual size disc discrimination and sequencing. If you saw my previous toddler shelf work video, you saw a sound object basket method for learning phonetic sounds. This is the same idea, but in little boxes. So a variation, if you will. This box is a piece from our DIY phonetic alphabet boxes, and I'll link that tutorial in the description box. Go check it out if you haven't. So each drawer um, corresponds to a letter of the alphabet and is also labeled. Inside, I include an upper and lower case letter and three to five small objects or picture cards that begin with the letter sounds. And for vowel letters, I start by teaching the short vowel sound only. So everything in the A compartment was with the sound A. Ah.
This is a small version of the traditional Montessori cylinder blocks, a material for developing visual size discrimination. I do recommend watching a video on the introduction or initial presentation lesson for this material. The YouTube channel Living Montessori Now has a short video as well as a blog post, so go check it out. The first block varies in diameter only. The second block varies in height only, and then blocks three and four vary in height and diameter. A DIY flower color sorting activity I made with materials from our recycled box. A juice pouch lid, water bottle cups, cardboard, and popsicle sticks. I added construction paper inside the bottle caps to match pom-poms in this container for color matching work. To extend into fine motor and a transferring activity, I provide a fine motor tool like chopsticks or tongs, even a scoop would work. This is a wooden puzzle from Target Bullseye Playground for practice on number quantity. I also included number digits for an extension variation, but I'll get to that shortly. The set is this base with pegs in quantities numbers 1 through 6, also with a colored border to match the block as self-corrective. The number digits I added are for number recognition and identification. I'll name the number, count out the pegs on the respective block and match it. This tray and activity does require my assistance and is more as a repetitive lesson rather than independent work. The repetition is for meeting Luna's sensitive period for order, which is also routine. Another wooden puzzle from the Target Bullseye Playground at just $3 and really well made. It really is a wonderful bargain. I like it because it's spring Easter themed. Clearly it's fictitious, but it's beautifully whimsical and perfect for the holiday. This puzzle is great for a number order or sequencing. Each piece has the number of characters or objects representing the number quantity. As the child is sequencing numbers, they're puzzling together a train. The last activity is one I put together with a seedling starter tray, plastic eggs, and pipe cleaner chicks I hauled from Party City. My initial thought for this tray is for Luna's curiosity and sensitive periods in open and closing order as she places each egg back to its slot and small objects with the little chicks hidden inside. But again, just like with the nesting cups, it's also color matching work by matching the top half to the bottom half, pairing with a fine motor tool for transferring and fine motor work. And of course, we can also count chicks for counting, one-to-one -one correspondence and number quantity.